Coming up next on Columbus Connection, the weekend, the week that we have all been waiting for, the Fountain City Classic is here. We're going to give you all the information about it. Stay tuned. Welcome to Columbus Connections. I am your host, David Britt, and we are here to talk about one of the most fun weeks in Columbus, Georgia, the Fountain City Classic, Albany State, Fort Valley State. There are a lot of events going on. We're going to tell you all about it right here. You can also go to FountainCityClassic.com. They have a calendar there. You'll find out the events there. But while you're here looking at us, why not hear about it? We have with me <laughs> Mr. Carlos Williams, who you hear his voice. You'll see him on TV. you see him all over. He's, he's, you're, you're with the, on the board with the Fountain City Classic. Fountain City Classic Committee, yeah. yes. And this is you all's 30th? 30th anniversary. 30th anniversary. Yeah, special of edition. City Classic. Yeah. Yes, so sir. if anybody just happens to be new to Columbus and doesn't know what we're talking about, tell them what to, how it came about and what they can expect from the Well, we're talking about the big football game between Albany State University and Fort Valley State University. Yeah. And it came about because we have a wealth of alumni from both of those great institutions here in Columbus. And uh, they got together and decided to uh, bring these colleges in here to Columbus uh, and to, you know, to play one another. It's been 30 years ago, yeah. obviously, and uh, there were uh, a lot of people instrumental in doing that from both sides. And of course, when you do that, when you have these ideas, the schools and their presidents uh, also have to, to agree to it, and they yeah. have. Yeah. And I think it's been the best thing that has happened to both schools in years. Yeah, absolutely. Because it's not just the football game. It's, yeah. it's the, the, the gathering, the, gathering <laughs> the, the tailgating, the events that happen surrounding it. Yeah. It's also a way that kids kind of look to their future and, and get that idea of I can right. go to college in their mind. That's right. And, and in particular, it gives them the black college experience, yeah. you know. Uh, a lot of times, they, you know, they can't get that from their guidance counsel counselors at their local schools. And so it gives them an idea of what uh, college life, in particular black college life, is all about. Yeah, yeah. So let's look at these events. We're going to yeah. talk to them again. You can go to FountainCityClassic.com on your phone or on your computer. Yeah. So we're starting, it starts Sunday, November 3rd. Yeah. That's when all the events kick off. Start with Sunday service. And of course, that Monday is very important as well. That's our annual health fair. And we started doing that years ago, kind of, you know, to give something back to the community. Yeah. Our uh, alumni from Albany State and Fort Valley State will come out and and we'll have health experts from uh, all across the city mm -hmm. to uh, check on our citizens, uh, their blood pressure, uh, their cholesterol, you know, things of that nature. And so we encourage them to, to uh, come out. Uh, the information, as we said, and location is on your screen. So th this has been very beneficial and very helpful to the Columbus community. Yeah, you definitely want to go through the health yeah. program. With this being a, a, a black college event, of course, a lot of diseases primarily affect African Americans the most. So this is a great yes. time. Some people don't go to the doctor as much as we really should. So right. this is a great time to just get yourself a checkup. Yeah. Uh, no pressure and just right. get things done yeah, before just, you kick off just, the fun for the week. That's right. It just takes a little time to check and make sure everything is working properly. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And then uh, on Tuesday, of course, uh, is our uh, annual media co uh, coaches luncheon. Right. And we've got a change in location in, in that uh, event this year. It will take place at the um, Green Island Hills Country Club okay. rather than the Columbus Trade Center. So we want all of the members awesome. of our media, especially you guys, to know about that. Uh, we'll start at around the same time, 11 o'clock. Uh, and so we ask that you come out at that event. The coaches will uh, be on hand as well as uh, uh, several players. Uh, typically, the coaches tr try to bring some local players mm -hmm. that have played here in Columbus and in the surrounding area to talk with the media and, of course, uh, enjoy lunch and uh, to sell a few wolf tickets about yeah. who they think is going to win this oh, game. Oh, yeah. It's, it's got to have a yeah. little trash talk. Oh, yeah. yeah. Got to have trash, trash talking. And uh, I think I mentioned earlier that these two schools have been playing since 1945. But, right. And I'm a Fort Valley State University graduate. But when you're on the Final City Classic Committee, you're working for both schools. Mm -hmm. You're working for, you love Albany State just as much as you love Fort Valley State. But Albany State has really put it on Fort Valley in this uh, Final City Classic. I think maybe Fort Valley has won maybe seven or eight. Uh, so Albany State has been dominant. Uh, while I'm talking about the teams, let me mention that uh, those two teams play in the Eastern 
uh, side of the SIAC conference, and they both, they started slow, but they really come on like game busters. They won four or five games in a row. And so we're looking for a, a, a head knocker of a football game, which it always is, from Fort Valley State and Auburn State. Awesome. So that's yeah. Tuesday. Yeah. And what's coming up next? Uh, I think Wednesday we'll take that day off. And then Thursday we have two events. Uh, of course, uh, we have the uh, Cufflinks and Pearls Networking Mixer, that one at the River Center. Mm -hmm. And then that Thursday will be uh, the college recruiting. And yeah. uh, that will be at the museum, I understand. And so um, that's an opportunity for um, students who, high school students who may be interested in attending Fort Valley State or Auburn State to come down and get information about these two great institutions. Awesome. We're going to take a quick break because we know that this is a lot to absorb. In the meantime, you can go to FountainCityClassic.com and we'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. I am a teenager. I am online. I enjoy sharing thoughts. Music. Videos. Ideas. Information. I will not. I will not. I will not be a victim to threats. To stalking. To soliciting. To predators. I will be responsible. I will be careful. I will be honest. I will be smarter. I will get my parents involved. I will protect myself. I will be safe. I am a teenager. And I. And I. Will not. Be bullied. Welcome back to Columbus Connections. We are talking the Fountain City Classic. Go to FountainCityClassic.com for all the information. But like I said, we're talking about it here. One of the greatest weeks in Columbus. A lot of fun, a lot of events. Just awesome time. We're going down the calendar and seeing what's happening. So far, we're on, it starts on November 2nd. Yeah. But right now, we're on Thursday's 7th. We talked about the Cufflinks and Pearls. Which and then also, what else is going on on Thursday? On um, Thursday uh, is the uh, recruiting fair. Yeah. I think I mentioned that. Uh, both schools uh, will send representatives down, and I think that is at the um, Columbus Museum as well. They'll send uh, representatives down, recruiters down, to talk to high school students about uh, what it takes to uh, get into Fort Valley State and Auburn State University, what, what they should be doing now as uh, sophomores, juniors, and seniors to try to get to college. And so that's some very good advice and free advice. Mm -hmm. Can't beat that. Nope, can't yeah. beat it. Yeah, can't yeah. beat it. And then uh, that's Thursday. Uh, that's uh, yeah, Thursday. And of course, Friday is the president's uh, you know reception. Uh, the first part of that event is by invitation only, mm -hmm. uh, and then it will open up. I think uh, Davis Broadcasting will provide an old school and new school type format there. Oh, yeah. And so we're really looking forward to that. And. Um, uh, that has been a, a real success, success over the years uh, in, in the, the events that I've attended. You have more young people at the old school <laughs> event than right. you have at the new school event. Yeah. So I, I don't know, it's just music to dance by. You know, yeah. they just, you know, they come to dance and have a good time, so it really doesn't matter with them. And then, of course, uh, Saturday morning, uh, we won't have a parade, a sponsored parade this year, but we will be taking part in the Veterans Day Parade. Mm -hmm. They'll be having that on the same day as our game. So we'll just participate with them. And then, uh, of course, uh, Saturday at 2 o'clock is when the two teams will butt heads down at the A.J. McClellan Memorial Stadium. There's still plenty of tickets on hand. Uh, so we advise, you, we advise you to get your ticket because, uh, you know, it's, it's, we, we expect a packed house down at uh, Memorial Stadium. And uh, Saturday night, our alumni dance will move from the Trade Center to the Marriott. We'll have it there at the Marriott. Okay. And so uh, we expect that event to fill up fast as well. And uh, we're just looking forward to uh, uh, another fantastic, safe, family-oriented yeah. event in the form of the Fountain City Classic. And that's the thing that makes it so great is yeah. that it's a, the entire family, from the babies to the grandparents, everybody's going to enjoy themselves. Everybody's right. going to have a good, safe time. Oh, yeah. And, and you know, some of these young folks have never seen, uh, uh, you know, the Battle of the Bands. And yeah. these bands, how yeah. they come into the stadiums and the halftime shows that, that they put on. Uh, you, that's worth the price, price of admission right there. Yeah. Now, will Fort Valley and Albany State be marching in the Veterans Day Parade? I, I, I was told that the, the bands will participate okay. in the Veterans Parade. So uh, that's something our, our viewers want to want to look out for. Um, that should be something something very spectacular. Awesome. And that's another great thing is that it usually falls on that three-day weekend that a lot yeah. of people have that Monday off. Right. So when you got some time to rest, it really gives you something to look forward. Again, we're right. going through that fall season. It's finally cooling off. Oh, yeah. And you just got a week of fun. Yeah. yeah. And, and, uh, and a great football game. You know, yeah. these games have gone down to the wire uh, uh, almost every year. There have been very few games where either team has dominated the other. 
And so that's what fans come for, for as well. They know they're going to get great tailgating. Mm -hmm. They're going to get uh, uh, they're going to get a chance to see old friends, and they're going to see one well of a football game. Yeah, the football game yeah. and that halftime show. Yeah, is always you know like I said the tailgating is great, yeah. but it's nothing like being in that stadium and seeing that event. Right. Seeing that halftime show and just enjoying that whole experience. Oh yeah, and I think Auburn State's band went out to California uh, last yeah. year or year before last, so they 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 made some national uh, history there. Uh, but the bands, uh, both of these bands, I've noticed over the years have gotten extremely large, and that has made them better. They got more you know more instruments. They 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 sound better. They look better. And uh, that can only make for one great halftime show. Absolutely. Okay. So again, go to FountainCityClassic.com for more information, all the details, ticket information. Where can people find tickets? Uh, tickets uh, mainly at the uh, Columbus Civic Center. But uh, if you log on to that website that you mentioned, FountainCityClassic.com, it has a list of uh, all of our ticket locations. So we encourage our folks to do that. Awesome. Again, check out that calendar for all the events. There'll be plenty of events to choose from. Go to yes. all of them. Enjoy yourself. We're going to have an awesome, fun, safe weekend. We will see you around during the week of the Fountain yeah. City Classic. And might I mention uh, that, uh, just, just give a shout out to the hardworking members of the Fountain City Classic Committee. We got Ms. Jean Lynn, who heads up the Auburn State Alumni Chapter here locally. Uh, Sandra Ellison heads up the uh, Fort Valley State Alumni Chapter, and of course our uh, illustrious chairman of this classic for all these 30 years has been the Honorable Cameron Smyre, who just works so tirelessly. Well, yeah. they all do, and all of our classic uh, committee members. Yeah, thank you, because you guys yeah. make an awesome movie. Oh, yeah. Continuously, 30 years going. 30 years and counting. And counting. Yep. So we'll see you downtown. We'll see you all around town. It's going to be an awesome time. And thanks for watching Columbus Connections.